guys, it's Audra. Welcome to another video. So I'm continuing 30 videos in 30 days. Um, and I'm talking about weight loss. Um, if you have missed the previous videos, go back and watch those. It talks about how I gained 65 pounds. Um, yesterday I talked about how I lost 65 pounds. And today I'm going to talk about how I um, kind of felt while I was doing that. Like what all was I doing? Before we get started, I want to make a disclaimer um, for all you people out there who have issues with disordered eating, these weight loss videos are not for you, okay? Obviously, like if you have disordered eating habits and you, um, you know, like the word like diet or weight loss or calories and like all that kind of stuff really stresses you out and causes you anxiety and like it triggers you and all this kind of stuff, then you don't need to be watching these videos. These videos are for the people who contact me and they really want to lose weight and they need to lose weight because the reality is a lot of people out there need to lose weight. Um, they want to lose weight and it would be very, very healthy for them to lose weight. So weight loss can be a good thing and it can be a bad thing depending on your situation. So if you are someone coming with an eating disorder background, like I highly encourage you just bypass weight loss videos. If it just causes you so many issues like then don't do it. You need to get your mind right first and then you can deal with um, all that kind of stuff. So that's my biggest tip with that. But anyways, um, for those of you guys who actually do need some help with losing weight, again, go watch the videos from the other day. Um, but today I'm going to talk about kind of how I felt, and sorry for this thing is in the way, I can't get it to really go away. Um, kind of what my mindset was when I was losing weight. Because um, honestly, I feel like this is the biggest thing, um, like the most important thing for you um, while you're losing weight is your mind, okay? Because your physical body might change, it might not, whatever, but if your mind is like totally in a bad place um, and you're totally like obsessed with it all the time, that's all you think about and all you think about is that number on the scale and what you look like and how um, like your jeans are fitting or your clothes are fitting and um, like you want to get in this size jeans that you wore years ago or you want to get to this certain number that like you were at a few years ago and like that's your main goal in life, then it's going to be horrible. Like it's going to be miserable. You're That's all you're going to focus on. It's all you're going to think about. It's all you're going to talk about. That's all you're going to read about. Like that's going to be your life. So my biggest tip is do not let that be your life. You have to get out and live your life. I know a lot of you girls email me and say like, oh my gosh, like, I, I can't even go out of the house. Like, I will not go out of the house until I weigh X amount, until I reach my goal weight. Then I will allow myself to go dancing or go to movies or go ice skating or go on family vacations or whatever. Like, only then. Um, and that's horrible. Like, you are missing out on your life. And to be honest with you, time goes by so much quicker when you're having fun and when you're, like, being productive and stuff. So, you know, go get a job. If you already have a job, get another job. Go volunteer somewhere. Go um, see your family and friends. Go see movies. Go get out. Like, go dancing. Go have fun. Like, live your life in the meantime. That is what I did, and it went by so quickly, and I didn't even realize I was losing the weight, and I wasn't even focused on it. I didn't get so obsessed with weighing myself all the time and worrying about all this stuff. Like, I just lived my life. And yes, I was making, like, consciously healthy decisions along the way but I wasn't so focused on it you know what I mean like there's one like it's one thing to be like health conscious and to be active and like move your body and that type of thing but it's a whole other thing to take it to the extreme and if that's where you're at to where like that's all you think about like that's all you're doing with your time like every day and every waking thought is about that number on the scale then it's going to be a horrible miserable journey for you and honestly it's not going to be as successful because stress is one of the worst things when it comes to weight loss. Um, it, like you can be so stressed out and like never lose weight because of your hormones and everything. So that's my biggest tip. Like get out, go have some fun. Don't wait until you reach this goal weight to have fun. Like my whole weight loss journey, I was having fun. I love myself. I was going out. I was enjoying life. Like there was no, you know, like I'm a hermit and I can never go out because I, um, you know, I, I don't weigh a certain amount or my old jeans don't fit or whatever. Like, it wasn't like that at all. Like, it was just like, I'm going to live my life. You know, I got engaged. We were planning a wedding. Like, we were having fun. We were doing a bunch of different events and stuff. And it was just time went by so fast. So time is going to go by regardless, right? Like, time is not going to stop for you and your weight loss. 
Um, so you might as well make the most of it. And honestly, the more that you get out and the more fun that you go have, like the healthier you're going to be physically and mentally. And that's where you want to be. Like you want to be in a healthy place mentally. So that is one of my biggest tips. Like that's what I did. I lived my life. Like, and for everyone that I talk to who wants to lose weight, that's the number one thing that I will tell them is you have to get out and live your life. Like go have some fun. That's pretty much it. Um, also, I wanted to say following up from yesterday's video, I mentioned that I went back to eating the way that I was before. Like I wasn't dieting or restricting or whatever. I was eating regular foods that I was before and that type of thing. And I just want to make the point to let you guys know that I was not doing any type of extreme diet. Like I was not doing a low carb diet or a low fat diet or a low uh, protein diet when I went back to just eating normally and just eating a good balance. Like that is what the key is. Um, that is what I have found from losing weight um, and then even just sustaining weight loss, okay? Any time that you try to do something super extreme, it might work for a little while. Um, this is in my opinion, in my experience, but if you start noticing that things aren't going right, you need to change something. Like it's as simple as that. Like you just need to make a change. So that's my advice. Like find a good balance of carbs and proteins and fats. You don't need to fear any of them. They need to be included in your diet. They're all highly nutritious and they all work in your body in different ways. Um, so balance is key. So that's today's video. I hope that helps go out and have some fun, make plans, call friends, call family, set up stuff, like go out to eat, go see your um, like people you haven't seen in forever, like go dancing, go to movies, go to parties, like just go have fun. Um, still make healthy, good conscious decisions and stuff, but like live your life, you know, like time is going to pass regardless. So um, I hope that's helpful. Please like this video, please share it, please subscribe um, and stay tuned for tomorrow and I will see you guys next time. See you later. Bye.